Ladies and gentlemen, it's your counselor Augustine from Ginger. I welcome you back to the channel. I'm on the motor bike, the new bikes in Ginger here. I'm heading to Ginger Agriculture Trade Show, which started way back in 1993 near the source of the Nile in Ginger. And it combines both agriculture and trade sectors. And uh, this is the 28th time the trade show is being held here in Ginger. Uh, the last time I was here was in 2007. I was still young and I was in secondary school. But I'm back again and I want to ask you to go and tour with me and see uh, its impact on mental health. Uh, if there has been some changes over the years and if there's any new innovations that have been happening in my absence and if yes uh, how do we adapt as humans who travel miles and miles to come here from different parts of uganda how do we adapt and uh, learn about agricultural innovations and new ways to enrich our families through commercializing our farming that's on the smaller po uh, parts of land that we see keep shrinking every day. And for those that want to learn about how it's done, how you can have great yields from agriculture, doing it from home, or whatever you are, or for those that just want to tour this place safely and see ourselves get out of it. That's my focus. That's why I'm here. I'm going to try to enjoy together with you as we learn together about the agricultural stuff that are here in the show ground. Uh, thank you. Let's get started. I appreciate everybody who keeps coming back to the channel and giving the channel thumbs up and liking and subscribing and sending the links to other people. I'm just thankful for what you do. I ask you to do the same, to share with other people so we can continue to spread hope to other people and help other people to have a good mental health. So today I, I came with my friend Kaka. We are in the uh, show ground today. Uh, it's been a while since I was here. The last time I came here was in 2007, over, over 14 years ago when I was here. So I've been trying to see how things move and things have changed a little bit. We used to have the zoo back then, it was here, and Tebe Zoo, but now we just have a source of the now mini zoo. Uh, the lions and many other dangerous animals that they used to bring back then, they are not here because they try to uh, uh, destroy someone's life and that's why they stopped bringing them in a zoo. So we've seen the python, the snakes and these uh, ostrich, they are really amazing animals. We've had a great time here. Now I want to I just encourage whoever is thinking about coming here at the source of the Nile trade show, ginger trade show, agriculture trade show. Uh, prepare yourself mentally. There's fun. There's a lot of good stuff that we've encountered here the things we've seen you're going to see snakes crocodiles and amazing things and take some pictures for those that remain at home uh, the show ground is always exciting like the motion is just like what i experienced over 14 years ago uh, be careful people are gonna try to move close to you just watch your pockets watch your stuff watch your phones because you came, you prepared yourself to come and have fun, but if you don't uh, like be attentive, you might end up at the police, either looking for help, uh, looking for money to go back to where you came from because they stole your wallet and things, or maybe you end at the police station trying to look for whoever took your stuff. But just know when they take your stuff, you will never recover them. So just watch yourself, watch your stuff. If you have kids, be with them and, and uh, put all the stuff together uh, so you can avoid all these problems, man. Like uh, my channel focuses on mental health and I know we try to do things in life to have fun, to be happy, like my vacation to Zanzibar, coming here to enjoy these animals, you know. 
it's something really nice that you can ever have. But sometimes if you don't prepare yourself and if you don't watch yourself, you can end up crying. I've seen people go on vacation, go or like here to enjoy, but they end up, you know, crying. Like as we were trying to feed these uh, ostriches with some, some stuff, like here. Like this. We were trying to feed them like this. We are trying to feed them like this. You see, if you're not careful, it can take off your hand. So instead of celebrating, having fun, jumping, taking pictures, you go back crying. So be careful with uh, everything you're coming to see. Ask these guys, whoever's there, it's going to help you to get to know amazing things that are in the showground. We're continuing. We want to go try the circus with my friend Kaka. Uh, I hope he's going to try. Not sure I can still try that. Uh, I just do things that will help you to have a good mental health. And you know, our mind, imagination is everything. That's why I try to focus on, on the mind, our imagination. All right, I, we have to get going. Thank you. Tomatoes, good quality, man. Uh huh. Wow, these are green pepper and more tomatoes. Wow, I need to live here so I can eat all these tomatoes, man. <laughs> wow, more green pepper. Maize. I love corn. This is rice. When I was young, uh, living at my stepfather, we used to grow rice and I used to get up in the morning in the holidays and go watch the rice from being eaten by the birds. That was in the early 90s. So it's a long time ago. And it's a great chance for me to look at this rice. Looks so beautiful and nice wow this is sorghum wow sorghum is disappearing is diminishing is becoming very uh scarce but in the show ground you get a chance to see things that you haven't been seeing in a very long time this is grown in the villages in the east but here people have to just see them in the show ground I love this type of cassava. So big. I love this matoke. It's so huge. I think one time we had a big one close to that at home. When, when my mom was still alive. That's a plant of it. So you expect a lot of stuff here. This is a staple food for us, the baganda. We love it a lot. But I'm a spoiled one. I love posho and, and greens. Wow. I love cotton. When I was in the village in the 90s, uh, my stepfather used to grow this cotton. I know. Uh, we used to have it at home. Like I said, when you come here, you expect to see things, rare stuff like this. This is another rare one. It's millet. Millet bread lovers. This is the crop where <laughs> the millet bread comes from. And this is uh, simusim. Wow. Sim sim. Sim sim. And a little bit of more rice over here. So. Uh. <laughs> it's too big. Is it? Uh, it's a female. I think it's over 100 kilos. Maybe 150 or something. This is a huge cow here. Wow. They are all bulls. This is a big quality meat for meat. I think this is for beef. Just 
moving around just to show you those who haven't been here what you should expect cows are here male and female eh? <laughs> Mm. Mm, mineral blocks. Yes. Goats. <laughs> wow. That's my favorite, Mokeni. Some is there. Lainana Asikaka. This is one pineapple. Is it one pineapple? <laughs> it's not one pineapple. These are rabbits. It's a department of rabbits here. Oh, I love how it takes the water. This is a fresh organic manual we have. Mm. So then leaves, cutting fruits, leaves, you know, broad leaves, you know, you know, Zibiria. Buria, Bulichimucho, Zoza, Embogezo, Zibiria, Amakora, Marunja, Dodo, Zibiria, Bulichimu, Zibiria. Mm. Want to grow some mushrooms in the future. Okay. Yeah, and it can begin from tomorrow or today. So it's interesting for me here. I want to take a small little video just for me to to see. Is that a fridge? What is it? A humidifier. Takes in this water and transforms it into steam. So this is just water being transformed into steam. Into steam yes. Just to humidify this place, make it. Cold. Mushrooms need a cold environment for them to grow, and this mm -hmm. helps. Ah! <laughs> okay. So I need to have this at home, like this and that. This system, if you can afford it, if you cannot afford it, mm. it can be prepared, mm. and the coldness, that, that environment can be created even without necessarily having this. This machine? Uh, yes. So, by the way, of co the way you construct your structure matters a lot. We all know that the grass such houses are always cool. Yeah, yeah. So, if you combine that, that aspect with charcoal dust uh -huh. at, on the floor, yeah. when charcoal dust is Water is added there, sprinkled you, there. You sprinkle it some water to maintain the coldness. So I can grow this in a grass thatched house yeah. with uh, choco dust on the on the floor. Yes, and you apply the water as mm. well using manual methods like an abstract spray mm -hmm. or the watering can. It is not there, but mm. the watering can can also. So it's not compulsory to have that in the fire. Mm. However, it simplifies work, you see. Mm. I'm seated that way, but it can do the work. So where do I get this thing to start? Like that? You want a complete garden? No, no. Oh, like you want to prepare that it thing, That thing there. That one. I know it's what makes this. Oh. Where do I buy it? You can buy it from already experienced people like this. Uh. Mm. Oh, farmers, Those, there are people around who already know how to make mm. the mushroom seed. Three thousand. This one. That is ready to Three thousand? Three thousand. Huh? Yes, this one. The, that one there? This Three. one is ten thousand. It is the one you said it is used to make this one. It's mm. the one you plant in this garden. Mm. It grows, mm. the way you see this. Mm. The, all these were originally like this, but mm. the seed mm. grows within and makes it white. That's ah. when the garden is ready to be 
Nice fun. After from the start of the harvesting period, you harvest for three months. Three months, but then you know, you know, with these mushrooms, eh? at first they bring a higher yield, mm. so but as it keeps on, the, they reduce. They mm. keep on reducing. Okay. Mm. But the reducing also depends on what you use to make the garden. Mm. Some materials are so good. Mm. So these are already finished mushrooms here. These are mushroom products. Ah. Which one? How much is it? So it's the same price. What do, what do you suggest for me? For us I will serious. take uh, the dry one, mm. but if we are going to consume, you can I think we better take the dry one. Thank you. Okay. And get get me your number here. Sorry, I kept on dividing. Yeah, I understand. I understand. She wants to grow them like me, so yeah. <laughs> I want to grow them for myself, not for sale. They are really nice. I can yeah, consume every day. Yeah, it's a small garden, but it can help you even for commercial, like these guys are teaching. Python. Eh? It's very small. The older one you had was breaking the glasses. So they brought a smaller one, young. How old is it? We want it to move, so we know it's really a, a python, rock python. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is Cobra, Egyptian Cobra. In Sweda Muluganda, Vanai. Yeah? <laughs> I have to go inside and see and record it from here. <laughs> hey, holy day. That's a mangoose, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Gunju. Gunju, eh? Banaye, mangoose. In English. Ah. Ah. Banaye, nga ka ina face, very cute. Ah. Then in Obey, yet. Salambwa. Salambwa, gwe, muluzungu, gwe, musotaki. Gabon Viper. Eh? Gabon Viper. Gabon. Gabon Viper. We salambwa, yiyo. A salambo, a gabon viper. Gabon viper. Gabon viper. Wow. So beautiful, but deadly. Hey, you salambo. You come and talk to me. This is a parrot. 
Uh, where I used to work in a restaurant, we used to have a parrot, Kasuku. Hello, Kasuku. How are you, Kasuku? Good evening, Kasuku. Hello. How are you, Kasuku? You okay? Hi. Kasuku. We used to have a Kasuku that uh, could speak parrot. Parrot. Yeah, Kasuku. How are you? Ah. Uh, we don't want to spend so much time uh, pleading for you to speak, buddy. We got to go, Kasuku. Uh, take care of yourself. Now, what is his name? Scott Baboon. Baby Baboon. Wow. Hello. She's going to, she's going to come here. Babu. Uh, Babu. She's going to come here. Baby Baboon. Babu. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, baby Baboon. Is she the mother? Uh, the mom was killed mm. in the national park ah. yeah, by the hunters. Yeah. So what I forgot to rescue it on the road mm -hmm. and gave it to us to take care of. Mm. Then that one is taking it like the mom. Mm -hmm. yeah, so when she grows, she's going to look like that? No, mm. she should be different. Okay. That's a monkey, it's a baboon. Ah, monkey and baboon, same family but different. Yeah. Okay. So little monkey. Little monkeys can carry babies. Mm -hmm. can have babies. Yeah. So a, baby, a, baby, a female little monkey can have a baby, any, any baby. Okay. A, baby, a monkey type to mm. take care of. Okay. So can I touch her? Can, can, eh. Did you touch her? I can try. Who did you cut her? The one who cut her. Babu. 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 She's she's holding a bone. You're not supposed to eat a bone. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Baboons eat meat. Yeah. I see. Ah, baboon. Oh, mpako na ye kamu mkaweko. Oh. Mkaite. Babu. Babu, ah, uh. Babu, come and get this, Babu. Hello, Babu. Ah, uh, come and get Babu. Ah, uh, Babu. Ah. <laughs> this is nice for Babu. Let's go. Red tail monkey, Nakabugo. Kolabas monkey. He looks like a human, man. You want him to be closer? Yeah, I want him to be closer here. Okay, get some food. Ah, Muse. Ah, Linda, come Muse. Muwebu ye. Quat. Ah, Muse. Moi. Muse. Muse, this is nice. Ah, Nakavugo. What do you need, Nakavugo? Sorry. Sorry, what about this? Huh? Bazi tawa tamu Luganda zinu? Sewa gaba. Ma? Manga bi. This is a manga bi. They eat kasoli. Hello. They look like humans, man. I see humans. You came from this manga bi, I guess. <laughs> Abantu bara bikabava mu muzino gundi. Mhm. Koteka utesi mukono jiwe. Kaka the campaign on what? GTJ, same better quarter, um, quarter, take a hold you. Totia. Ah, Mue.
Ah, now Osari Zawano. I love this guy. I love this guy. And can I add him more corn? Hmm? This guy really looks like somebody I've met before. Hi, buddy. I, I, I love your hairstyle. Hey, I love your hairstyle. Get, get that, man. Get. I love your hairstyle. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Omulabo na alinga muntu. Gwe olabo na alia bulunja alinga muntu. Eh. An oli. Hi guys, we got to leave. Ah. Uh, see ya. This is a monitor lizard. Yeah, we've seen this before. En su asua eh. Eh on su asua. Hey. This is the ostrich. Is this the biggest ostrich? Quat. Otu quat. Eh? Ojiwo otya kati. Okwata ne rumako eh. Obo sikat ne takujira eh. it's like chicken, turkey. Tasobola agenda ayagala Can we know the difference tusobola okumanya enjawulo eyazi nebiri enjawulo yeriwa but it's the same thing. Ah, I see. Female, male. The black one is uh, male and the gray is female. How much do they weigh? 100 kilograms and above. 100 kilograms and above. Oh my God. If you can, if you can like slaughter that with your family, then you put in a refrigerator, and it can take you like a whole month. But if they see you, man, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. A single no moon to kilos. How much is a kilo? Hundred and twenty, honey. Wow. No water, no water, molasses. I'm that. Which people are there? I'm that.
just rice there. Ah. Just, just rice there. You can come and see. We can make fly. Is it? We have uh, we have millers. It's cassoli, maize. Yeah. Oh. So we so we make it. Yeah. What about this? This this one is uh, out of this. Honey. Yeah. So we can make this. Honey, you can make a lot of things in honey. This is the residue. The wax. Ah, this is the wax. Yeah. yeah. So it's used for what if I take this? This one you can make candles. Mm. Yeah, no, the candles, this one is candles. I think I know you. I've seen you sometime. The last time I was here in this in the trade show was in 2007. But I remember your face. I think you were here in 2007. I've seen your face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and all of you are in European Union. <laughs> huh? European Union. Huh? Huh? I love that, brother. Thank you. Just give me a business card. Thank you. After the show, where do you stay? After the show? Yeah. Goodbye to you, my trusted friend We've known each other since we were nine and ten Together we and you want on a kaka kaka eche subo chitule mie okugenda ko we we all failed to go on the circus so i don't know we just have to leave man why can't you go up there and, uh, I can't. Huh? Yeah, I can't go there, but... are you afraid you are gonna fall down are you too heavy i'm too heavy you see, this guy is a bodybuilder, so he thinks he's too heavy if he gets on there, so it's okay. We just ha came to uh, enjoy this, have fun, and do whatever feels good. So if it doesn't feel good for you and me, it's okay. Let's get going and, and just go try something else. Now that the spring is in the air Pretty girls are everywhere I'm gonna take a picture like a queen, like a king, a prince You just come here Those are the different hearts for that the sun, But the hills that we climb were just seasons out of time Goodbye Papa, please pray for me I was the black sheep of the family You tried to teach me right from wrong Too much wine and too much song Wonder how I got along Goodbye Papa, it's hard to die When all the birds are singing in the sky Come on Kemo, ndiku ngami awana yerero chikambwe chino. Aya, sebo aba aba vugenga mi awana yenembala siwa nyumirua. I'm really enjoying. I think this is better than the plane I was on. Ah, awana onyumirua nyu. Oba yenze drive anga siri vuga vurunji. Yeah, I'm really enjoying. You know, I've been on the plane, but that wasn't fun. This is fun. Being on a camel is more funnier than being on a plane. <laughs> Little children everywhere when you see them. So, 
you can expect to be on a camel and Amia and have some fun here and ride. This feels better than the being on the plane. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, my friend Kaka has to enjoy. He really has to enjoy this. It's more fun being on that one than than being on a plane. Yeah, it's more fun. Mr. Angelu, I kunyo mirwa banai. Chino chakavi banai. Kako uli rotia. We gombo kuli nye nyonyi na enkubuli recho. Echo chinda zenti chiamanyo singe nyonyi. Wow. Eh, hey, awanyu manyo wana yenge kawansi. Alo, wow. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Kaka tubuli rekonze mpuli denga visinga no kubera kunyonyi. How do you feel? George tuku, visinga no kubera kunyonyi. Being on a camel feels so good. Like Yeah, atena dala onge rikuke yimuka. Yeah, when it's putting you down, it's so fun, man. I want to do it again, man. Next year I have to come and do it again. It's so much fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much fun. And it's cheap. How much was it? Was only two k. Enku mi biri zoka wa na ize tu sasude. So fena ba biri enku mi nyate mroza tu sasude sente ni ingi nyo. Just four k. Thank you for following us. Thank you for following our story. Everyone who has watched this video, just give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. We we really had great fun and we wish the same for you to get some time off in a holiday like this. And come and have some fun. That's for chicken. Chicken growing. Mm. The gas disappears. The gas disappears. The gas from eating a lot of beans. Yes, everything that fine. Yes, yes, I've told you. You know why this oil? We said that it will disappear. It's because oil is highly, oil is easily penetrating to our the system. Better than the, than the normal gel, you understand. But this, it easily, it is easily absorbed into the system. It relieves stress and anxiety. Growth. If you have a problem with uh, maybe hair growth, dandruff, all those things, it promotes hair growth. Memory enhancer, you're someone who forgets so much, you have kids that are not performing so well at school. Remember one of the best plants in the world that is a memory enhancer is rosemary. Let no one ever lie you that any other plant can do that. It's only rosemary. It, it, it rebuilds the dead cells in the brain. So you start performing very well. So how does it get to the brain? By smelling? Without, you can really like it for you. No, no, no. I want to give you an example. No, you don't give like that. Full release. Full release. You feel now the problems have all gone away. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, he's started yeah, feeling you know, good you know, already. You know, you know, you know Eastern yeah. meditation. Yeah. Eastern meditation, you have nothing by say. Mm. You can just breathe in, you release. So you know that it is it this Definitely. or the Eastern meditation which has had no impact on me. Ah uh-uh. ah, it is this one that but when you combine both, then you become it creates wellness, well being. The reason why we are here is we want to enhance the well being of this people. Is Uganda, this is uh, no, it's called sense and uh, it's called sense and spaces. Uh, in partnership with the Uganda Industrial Research Institute. Yes.